Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. We're going to be looking at ticker symbol SFIX today, that is Stitch Fix. I've always actually really liked the model of this company. Uh, it's a sub clothing subscription service where you basically get clothes. If you don't like them, you send it back type thing. Uh, I've never actually used it. But I do, I am excited to actually d dig into the books, look at the balance sheet, look at the financial data points, see what hedge funds and institutions are doing, uh, and also look for any patterns we see coming up. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the subscribe and jump on in. All right. Um, we are looking at the bigger picture right now. Um definitely with the bears at 36 rsi relative strength index the momentum is still looks like it's been kind of flat for over a year now uh money flow had made a nice extension and now i don't know if it's resting or if it's going to continue its downward move let me just adjust my camera a little bit and relative momentum is scraping the bottom of the imaginary barrel getting the sediment and definitely uh, making making a making a mark so definitely not in favor of the bulls at the moment however uh, let's keep looking in so they do 1.4 billion in sales which is great they are not profitable at the moment they do have a quick ratio of 1.2 meaning if they were to close their doors tomorrow they would be able to pay off any debts, liabilities, notes, etc. Um, gross margins, 40%. That's not bad. That's not bad. Shares flow, 86 million. Um, over the span of five years, we've seen shares go from 101 million to 113. Uh, about a 12 million share increase. Sales. It looks like they peaked in 2021 and it's kind of coming back down. Um, excuse me. <laughs> EPS, sorry, I have some uh, cop drops in my mouth. EPS looks like it could be rounding the turn here. Uh, so what I want to do, just looking at this, they do 1.47 billion, but their market cap is 280 million. So this company could be getting severely overlooked um we're gonna look at guidance for this year okay losses narrow loss narrows revenues decline year over year we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find lower guidance as customer shedding continues okay interesting uh and i'm gonna go ahead and load our institution and hedge fund page here. So we're going to run my calculation. Uh, I only include the market cap if it is over 1 billion. We are not over 1 billion here. So <clears throat> we do 1 billion, 470 million in sales. Good for them. They're losing 121 million, 500,000. A little bit of a lag here. One moment. 121.5. Yes, they're losing that. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and continue the calculation. Apologies if there's some lags. Looking at the quarterly. Gross margin. 39% last quarter. Okay, 39, 40, 39, 38. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, now my computer is freezing a little bit, so I do apologize. We're going to go to the <clears throat> balance sheet right here. And we're going to include the cash and the debt in this calculation. Plus 229,820,000. That's good cash out on hand. Okay, total debt. 111 million 
and 94, 940,000. Okay, we have our numbers. I just want to look. Total assets, 538 million. Total liabilities, 325. So assets do dwarf liabilities about 1.5. <clears throat> Not quite two. Um, looking at prior quarters. Actually, it looks like they are, well, this is pretty huge. So liabilities decreased about 68 million and total assets decreased about actually a lot uh 24 plus 62 about 86 million so a little bit of a give and take there um are they i want to see if they're spending less to see if the customer is sticky or not and what i mean by that is um they're marketing less because people are buying into the brand they understand it etc so they did they spent about $20 million less and took about a $34 million hit on revenues. Uh, in Q4, I believe. Um, Q3 of last year. Yeah, this was very telling. Q3 of last year going into Q4, it looks like the company was getting stickier where they decreased by 9 million here, but the sales were about the same. Um, it did not work out that well for Q1 this year, meaning again, customer shedding. Okay, um, we're gonna finish our calculation first. We're gonna take this divided by 86 million flat. $17 stock trading at 329. Good volume, okay. So I have a $17 price target. Average price is $329. Um, potentially undervalued. Let's find out. Let's see how, how this is looking. Okay, customers, yes, are falling. Um, so for Q3, which is today, later today, about a 20% decline from a year ago. Um, I mean, revenues are going to be 1.2 to 1.3 billion, which is a 17 to 20% decline from a year ago. Um, so what they need to do, in my opinion, sales are declining. Uh, they have 5,000, maybe get rid of some employees. It's, it's, it's not going to move the needle in a large way, but I think having, making some disciplined decisions would go a long way here. Uh, there's 8% short on this. I don't, uh, I don't disagree with that. Not recommended by Finviz. So yeah, not a, not a great looking stock based on the financial metrics. 68% ownership as of old data. New data says 72, about a 4% increase. It's almost at all time highs in terms of institutional ownership. We've got Div Divisar, Divisar adding almost a million shares. Lake Katrina adding about 200,000 shares. Disciplined growth investors adding 1.7 million shares. Benchmark capital, no change. It says they had changed 6%. Vanguard decreased about 400,000 shares and BlackRock added about 600,000 shares. So, um, not too bad. Um, not too bad. Let's see, I'm gonna pull up S fix. Have I charted this one before? It looks like I have.
All right, so it is still following uh, this long-term downtrend. What does the yearly momentum say? <laughs> if the yearly momentum is kind of turning around, that would be uh, nice. Let's see. Maybe another year or two, maybe down here if this company can get their poop in a group um not bad and you see my first resistance is 12 and then 17 we're gonna look a lot closer in terms of just earnings remove yes okay so what I'm doing here is basically looking for price targets to the up and the downside. So we have a gap right here at $3. So that's going to be bullish target number one. And again, bullish means to the upside. Um, that was a pretty lazy move right there, actually. One sec. I think right there is a bit better. Yeah. Okay. Um, three dollars and then three thirty, and then four. I mean, there's not much, not much uh, correlated resistance there. And then 444. So those are our upside targets and then our downside targets because stocks can go down perpetually. We are going to be looking. Uh, so $2.10. And about a dollar ninety. Those are my downside targets. So <clears throat> uh, I don't think Stitch Fix is going to go out of business. They again, plenty of cash on hand, plenty of uh, proprietary products, whatever, what have you. Um, but I think this one, we have to see what's going on with the consumer. You know looking at the different earnings results from different companies we're getting mixed results some some like ross we have strong consumers um so i costco like it it, it really really all just depends so um the subscription model i mean we know rent the runway has done pretty well um i don't think this stock is <clears throat> has found the bottom yet but Again, if they have a killer earnings uh, later today, I think that's the turnaround. In my opinion, in my opinion, um, once they start the turnaround, they need to become profitable, which again, 121 million workforce reductions, um, maybe more targeted specific ads um this is a company i wanted to try in the past but i didn't really have the extra discretionary income uh now i do and i think it would be something i would be interested in just to try it out and i send it back if i don't like it and if i do like it i keep it so maybe i'll try it i don't know maybe i'll try it anyway if you made this far consider subscribing if you're in this one good luck uh, I myself personally would get into something like this uh, if there was more conviction and volume, if there was more um, pride, ownership from the company. We don't have any CEO buys. Nobody is buying down here from the company, which is a telltale sign of no confidence. <clears throat> or maybe the stock is too expensive for him. I don't know. Chief legal officer, accounting officer. Yeah. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Have a good day and good luck. Goodbye. Adios.